Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to cover an update to a story we read recently that was a little different from usual. This one was from the perspective of the betrayed spouse. Her husband had cheated on her while she was away on business, but she admitted that her being gone two to three weeks per month was the cause of him cheating. I'll leave a link to part one in the description if you want to get the whole story. So without further ado, Update. My wayward spouse found angry text messages I sent to a friend from a year ago and no longer wants to reconcile. Hello everyone. Thank you for all the feedback on my last post and to the few helpful DMs I received. I indicated I was going to give him time and space and that's what I did. We had our first real conversation about the future since he found the messages. I started the conversation by apologizing again. I promised him I didn't mean what I had said in the messages. He told me if those messages were really how I felt, I could tell him and that he could take it like a big boy. Hearing him talk like that hurt. I told him it was the honest truth. He said he'd give me the benefit of the doubt and that he believed me. Thank God. This spoke to a bigger issue though. In my last post, some commenters and DMs pointed out that I really did think I was above him. I'll be honest, I had to ask myself that question seriously, and I thought about it for a few days. I've always been the dominant in this relationship, and every other relationship I've been in. Whether it's in decisions we make as a couple, like where to go, what to eat, what to do, what to buy, the bedroom, literally almost every aspect. This isn't a conscious decision on my part. It's just been that way, and my partners have never complained at least not to me. I asked my husband if he had issues with how I was by nature. I had begun to consider the fact that maybe we just weren't compatible. Maybe our personality types just clash and we're doomed to drive one another to say things and commit acts we otherwise wouldn't. He told me he loved how I was. He said it was something he found attractive. But my lack of concern with his feelings in the past and my dismissal of his voice in our relationship was something always on his mind. He acknowledged he had no right to talk, given his infidelity, but that he couldn't help feeling this way from time to time. We hugged, we cried, and then he hit me with something that caught me off guard. He wanted me to quit my job and take a new one he'd found for me. He said he hates how much I work. He feels the time away from home makes reconciliation harder. Even though I hardly travel anymore since changing positions, I still have long days at the office. It's not uncommon for me to leave the house at 6 a.m. and get home at 6 or 7 p.m. He said he doesn't mind doing the majority of the housework, but that he wanted to see me play an active role in our kids' lives. I told him that while I understood, and even agreed with him, the demands of my job simply wouldn't allow him for me to work less. He said he wanted me to call his sister and at least hear her out about a job working for her. I was ready to call him crazy, but I remembered his sister's bakery was actually quite successful. She has a warehouse that sells to brick and mortar retailers and two storefronts cafes, all within an hour's drive of our house. His sister and I have actually chatted before about business and she's a sharp chick. I had no intention of actually working for her, but I thought I'd entertain hubby's request. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't at least a little curious. So I called her. Her warehouse manager was quitting to take care of family out of state, and she offered me the position before putting out a job request. Shipping and receiving, inventory control, quality assurance, all things loosely related to what I currently do, just on a smaller scale. I know it's a job I can do, and I'd get a month's training from the guy who's leaving. Pay is 75k a year with additional incentives. 40 hours a week. No overtime. It was actually appealing. I said I wanted to talk with Hubby first. We talked. He wanted me to take it. I was hesitant, but I have to acknowledge my work and my drive to climb the corporate chain where I am had become an unhealthy obsession. It was the reason I'd dismissed my husband so much in the past. It had pushed him away from me. It doesn't ever excuse what he did, but it played a part. He told me he didn't care about the money and we'd be fine. He's right that we'd be fine by most people's standards. Between our salaries, we'd still make over 150 k a year. We live in a nice coastal city on the west coast, so it isn't a lot, but it isn't by any means bad. 
He said to talk to the kids and see what they thought. So I did. They asked if it meant I'd be home more. I said yes. They started hugging me, telling me how happy they'd be if I made it to their soccer games and picked them up from school, amongst other things. This actually kind of stung. I'm close with our kids, but they are much closer with their father. I figured this would change when they got older and realized I was the breadwinner who provided a luxury life. But now I understand the luxury life and the things I buy them aren't going to be what they remember. They'll remember dad picking them up from school and kicking the ball around the yard with them while mommy was too busy with work. Long story short, I took the job. I put in my notice today at my current employer. My husband is the happiest I've seen him in a long time. My kids are happy they're going to see more of me. I'm genuinely excited for the future for the first time in a long time. Reconciliation feels like it's on the right track again. Sorry for the ramble and being all over the place. This will likely be my last post here. Might comment here and there on things, but I'm ready to move on. Too long didn't read. Things are looking up. Well, this was a nice change of pace. Let's see what the comments have to say. Enforcement X says, such an excellent update. I hope you two continue to work through everything. You're right. Your kids won't give an F about luxury items. You made the right choice, OP. I hope you just don't have negative feelings about walking away from the corporate lifestyle. If you do, make sure you discuss those feelings with your husband so he can help you process them so they don't start to fester into resentment. Good luck, OP. Iowa Cow Tipper says, This post literally brought tears to my eyes. I'm really happy for you and thrilled that you and your husband are having real discussions and taking real actions to make your marriage happy. This is wonderful. The response from your kids puts the exclamation point on it. I wish my wife had done this. She mentioned vague issues, and I made changes, but she wasn't engaged at all. To me, your success and my failure to have meaningful discourse that led to needed changes is the key to reconciliation. The fact that you are both so invested in this tells me that your reconciliation can be the exception to the rule. Best wishes to you. And abbreviations old says, this is wonderful. We're all so glad it ended so well. Life is about balancing and prioritizing things that matter. What you faced is what so many breadwinning men face in their lives where they work hard only to find their wives having affairs. The sad part is most of these men work not only for their own gains, but to provide for their family. I knew a woman whose dad was always very strict and critical of her. She was so ambitious and she would spend hours and hours at work and she did succeed a lot, maybe too much. She was, is a managing director of a renowned banking corporation, but she wasn't working to provide a great life for her family, but to keep proving to her dad and to herself. It took a toll on her family until she broke down one day. I think her father, a well-reputed man, realized what he did to his daughter when she was on the verge of getting divorced. Always focus on your priorities and work around them. Family is family and cannot be replaced, but a job can be. Well, this was a nice one. It's good that OP was able to focus on what really matters in life. Let us know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more stories. Until next time.